Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 18th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, and we are going through SDO eclipse season. So a little calibration is needed up there in those satellites, and that's what we just saw there. So don't mind the flash. But look in the northern hemisphere, large plasma filament lifting away. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we have eight sunspot regions right now on the Earth-facing disk. And plasma filaments erecting from the surface there and lifting away in the northwest region. Looking at outgoing imagery here. No major CMEs or solar flares to talk about. Still a pretty quiet sun right now. Moderate C-class solar flare at best. There's that plasma filament. Having a look here at multi-spectrum. Large plasma filament, northwest region. That's pretty much the only big deal right now. And we have two coronal holes that are getting ready to turn away. One of them is facing right now. We saw a small increase in the solar winds up to about 450 kilometers per second, but nothing major to report for solar winds. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, just some amazing imagery of our sun brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you all for watching today. Hope you're enjoying all of these updates. Hopefully I can still continue to do so come February in the new Google guidelines. We have eight sunspot regions and about five black holes in the sun right now. Very large sunspot regions. Notable there in the top left cresting in. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Solar X-ray flux remains in a lower to B range. Have not seen it in a B range for a while, but there is our moderate C-class solar flare. And not much to talk about for the past two days. Proton flux is low, geomagnetic activity slightly elevated due to our solar winds. Having a look here at Space Weather Prediction Center showing their spiral up until tonight, the 18th. And then ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing a CME. That is that large plasma filament that we observed on SDO. And it was in a more northward fashion. Real-time solar wind right now, we're sitting at 447 kilometers per second. After being jacked up a couple days ago to about 483, it did spike. And small spike again, coronal hole wind stream. Lasco 3 showing the last 48 hours of energies taking off from our sun. Not much to observe until the most recent right there. That was the northwest filament eruption. Pretty quiet the last couple weeks since we had a pretty busy start. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as we had a pretty sizable earthquake to report today of 6.4 in Fangalunga, Tonga, and that is northwest of the Hunga Tonga volcano. Pretty deep for the region, 280 kilometer depth. Having or sorry, 218 kilometer depth looking at USGS showing exactly where this was, and that is north-northwest of the Hunga Tonga volcano. There's the Tonga volcano. So heads up, Kermadec Trench, very sizable earthquake for the region. Other than that, USGS is reporting 217 earthquakes in the past 24 hours, slightly above average. Our average is about 200. No major swarms to talk about across the United States, but interesting activity up into Nevada and as well Northern California and the Pacific Northwest there with the Washington earthquake. Carrying on here around the world, 5.6 earthquake. Philippines was reported yesterday as well. A 5.2 in the Banda Sea, 5.0 there, Marianas Trench. 
activity up into Indonesia, 4.7, 4.2, up into the Indian plate. 4.1 earthquake there in Turkey. 5.7 earthquake here in North South Sandwich Islands. 5.1 there in Nazca plate. Pacific rise and as well notable 5.0 earthquake here reported. Mexico, Santa Mara. And as well notable activity at the Caribbean plate. But still, just slightly above average. Also, 4.7 earthquake here. Friends Joseph Land, Greenland. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Give you a quick glance at the last seven days. Largest being the 6.4 that occurred just an hour ago here on January 18th, 2024. Much love to you all, and just have a plan, everybody. If you live in an earthquake-prone zone, and much love to you all, and thank you for watching. Very notable earthquake there in Tonga. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and most recent volcanoes. We've got Ebuco in Russia. Got extreme cold being reported in northern India and as well northern Vietnam. That's a pretty low latitude for extreme cold. Got Dakono in Indonesia. And there are a mass amount of active hazards right now, 230. And most of them are floods. So, yeah. It's going to take a while to get through there. No major new eruptions to talk about for volcanoes. Having a look at satellite imagery here, we still have two pretty large systems affecting North America. And as well, a very strong and powerful system moving up into the North Atlantic. Overlooking satellite imagery here, Southeast Asia and Australia. Two low pressure systems still affecting New Caledonia and Northern Territory of Australia. And then in Europe, we have Tropical Cyclone Bilal and as well Tropical Cyclone in Greek, in Greek, who is in the South Indian Ocean. And forecast, model, forecast models showing yet another system coming for Mauritius Reunion Island off the coast of Madagascar. Here, having a look at the SO2 forecast, quite a bit of SO2 being funneled into North America right now and as well central regions coming out of Colombia and Mexico. This is all brought to you by our volcanoes erupting around the world. Having a look at Southeast Asia, Australia. Interesting and notable SO2 content coming out of the Mediterranean, Italy. So there must have been a pretty sizable eruption at Mount Etna or Stromboli, one of the two very active volcanoes in the region. Now let's get to weather forecast brought to you by Windy.com. Starting here, overlooking Africa and Europe. Low pressure system coming into Spain the next two days and it will grind through the Mediterranean Systems ramping up in the North Atlantic and then eventually will sweep in Sunday into Monday for Ireland and the United Kingdom. Strong cyclone there off the coast to get Madagascar. And as well, another low pressure system moving into parts of Eastern Europe. Then overlooking North America, got a Colorado low here coming in and some extreme cold going in behind that. That is going to quickly usher that system to the East Coast. And then that high pressure ridge moves into the East Coast of the United States. And extreme weather will be breaking out all through the Gulf states. Meanwhile, on the West Coast, multiple systems coming in this week. So a little rain train and snow for the West Coast as those systems come in. Then overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, multiple systems in the Southern Hemisphere right now, we're looking at four possible cyclones. And two of them will be affecting 
the Australian continent in the long range, west and east coast. So, heads up, my Aussie friends down under. Now I wanted to share here with you NASA satellite imagery showing how far our snow cover has gotten. And it was snowing as far south as southern Mississippi, Virginia, Georgia, and as well North Carolina. As you can see, all across this satellite, Im satellite imagery, all around the Mississippi covered in snow and extreme cold. It's dipping further and further south, folks. Magnetic reversal is upon us. Heads up. Welcome to the new mini ice age. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.